Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> How y'all doing? Good morning. This morning's devotion is coming from Exodus. <clears throat> and it's coming from Exodus. Let me make sure. Hold up. Exodus 34, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 1 through 11. 1 through 11. Okay. A new covenant, a new copy, I'm sorry, a new copy of the covenant. <coughs> Did you not know? Then the Lord told Moses, chisel out two stones, chisel out two stone tablets like the first one. I will write on them the same words that were on the tablets you smashed. Be ready in the morning to climb up Mount Sinai and present yourself to me on the top of the mountain. No one else may come with you. In fact, no one is to appear anywhere on the mountain. Do not even let the flocks or herds graze near the mountain. So Moses chiseled out two tablets of stone like the first ones. Early in the morning, he climbed Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him. And he carried the two stone tablets in his hands. Then the Lord came down in a cloud and stood, and stood there with him. And he called out his own name, Yahweh. The Lord passed in front of Moses, calling out, Yahweh, the Lord, the God of compassion and mercy. I am slow to anger and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. I lavish unfailing love to a thousand generations. I forgive iniquity, rebellion, and sin, but I do not excuse the guilty. I lay the sins of the parents upon their children and grandchildren. The entire family is affected. Even, the, even children in the third and fourth generation Moses immediately threw himself to the ground and worshiped and said, O oh Lord, if it is true that I have found favor with you, please travel with us. Yes, this is a stubborn and rebellious people, but please forgive our iniquities and our sins. Claim us as your own special possession. The Lord replied, listen, I am making a new covenant with you in the presence of all your people. I will perform miracles that have never been performed anywhere in all the earth or in any nation. And all the people around you will see the power of the Lord, the awesome power I will display for you. But listen carefully to everything I command you today. Then I will go ahead of you and drive out the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the, Hivite, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Yes, Lord. So, <clears throat> the Lord is making a new covenant, and he is showing us new mercies 
and new grace. Because it says, the Lord replied, I am making a new covenant with you in the presence of all your people. That's the scripture. So the Lord gives us a new covenant and he also forgives us and sheds and shares with us new mercies and new grace every day. So did you not know that even though we're going to continue to sin and we're going to continue to be not perfect but the believers believe and they turn from their wicked ways and in return God gives us new mercies and new grace but he also gives us free will he won't force you It's not his business. It's your business. Take care of your business. Get those new mercies. Get that grace. Be blessed. And have a blessed day.